Hello Spanish 2. Welcome to Casa Fino. Yes, I'm doing a little bit of a lesson online that I'm recording in my palatial estate here in Hickman County. Not really. But be it ever so humble, it's home, baby. Anyway, so let's just get right after it, okay? We are on lesson 7 and we are going to be using the Casino Fino worksheet. Now, those of you who were in class, you were working on side A. Okay, and you are translating these using the vocabulary that we have from Lesson 7. We're going to do something a little bit different with that this time, okay? Here's what we're going to do. Let me put this down. What I want you to do is turn Casino Fino worksheet and, and fold it in half, okay? Fold it in half, and you will see that the bottom group, okay, rather the top of this page that's Casino Fino side B, okay, you will see that there are three groupings of, uh, of expressions here. The first one is I don't see, the last one is an $18 expression, and that is they need to come now, okay? Now, here's what I want us to do. What we're going to do is I am going to give you some of these sentences in Spanish, and you are going to choose between these three groupings of which one I'm talking about. All right, you're going to write down the name of, uh, of, uh, or rather, you're going to write down the letter that I tell you next to the sentence. Okay, so you can put that to the left of the little box there, or to the right on the back end of the sentence, and you'll mark them with the letter that I give you. All right, I'm looking around. I should have brought a pen in here. Hang on a second. Is there a pen? Hold on. Don't go away. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're off. Okay, let's start with the first one. I'm going to repeat each of these sentences a couple of times. So I want you to just listen and acclimate it. And you're choosing from the, these three groupings, these three groupings, all right? So the first expression we have here is mi equipo. Write the letter A next to mi equipo. Mi equipo. Mi equipo. Very good. The letter B, mark it next to yo pongo. Yo pongo. Yo pongo. The letter C goes next to the next expression. Ellos pagan por la silla. Ellos pagan por la silla. Ellos pagan por la silla. All right, if you don't get one of them, it's all right. I mean, don't worry about it. We'll come back. You know, either that or we're just practicing, right? All right, very well. The next one is the letter D put next to yo no veo. Yo no veo. Yo no veo. By the way, you can pause this and then look on your vocabulary. I should have said that earlier. Okay, the letter D next to yo no veo. All right, the letter E, put it next to tu me ves, V-E-S, tu me ves. The letter E, tu me ves, V-E-S. The letter F, Put it next to, put it next to, uh, ellos necesitan venir ahora. Ellos necesitan venir ahora. Ellos necesitan venir ahora. And that's the letter F. That's a hard one. Oh, that's my phone. All righty. Let me, let me turn the sound down on that thing, okay? All righty. How about this one? The letter G. Put the letter G next to the following. En el cielo. 
N L Cielo N L Cielo the letter G okay the letter H next to El equipo se sienta. Now that's a reflexive. A reflexive verb is going to have a little se on the end of it, so that's a little hint. Okay. El equipo se sienta. El equipo se sienta. That's the letter H. Very well. El equipo se sienta. The letter H. I, the letter I, goes next to the following. Tu ves la silla. Tu ves la silla. That's the letter I. Tu ves la silla. The next one. Tu... Vienes a mi casa. G H I J. Tu vienes a mi casa. Tu vienes a mi casa. H I J. There we go. Letter J. Tu vienes a mi casa. All right, the letter K. K goes next to the follow one. Ellos, ellos me. No, I'm sorry. Start all over. I messed up. Okay. H I J K. We're at K. Okay, here we go. The letter K. Ellos then. Ellos then. V E N. Las dos sillas. In el. Cielo. Ellos ven las dos sillas en el cielo. That's the letter K. The next one, H I J K L L. Okay, L is hoy. H O Y. Hoy today. Hoy el equipo es Mejor. Hoy el equipo es mejor. That's the letter K. H I J K. Good. L. The letter L. Next to. Tú sabes que el equipo es peor. Tú sabes que el equipo es peor. Tú sabes que el equipo es peor. That's the letter L. How are we doing on time? Okay. H I J K L M. Okay, M. Here we go. Now there's two ways to say M. That's a little bit of a giveaway. M is you can either say yo sé or you can say yo conozco. Yo sé or yo conozco. That's M. Watching my time. We can't go over 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, um, N. N. Yeah. N. Here we go. All right. This is a long one worth a lot of money. Here we go. El conoce al hombre. Oops, I'm sorry. El conoce a los hombres en el equipo. El conoce a los hombres en el equipo. That's N. El conoce a los hombres en el equipo. The letter O. O, O, O'Reilly. Auto parts. Ow! Okay, stop messing around. The letter O. Here we go. That sentence is, that phrase, Tú pones la silla en la casa. Tú Pones la silla en la casa. Tú pones la silla en la casa. That's the letter O. 
Okay. And the last one on the page is elemento P. There we go, P. Mientras tú pagas por la silla. Mientras tú pagas por la silla. Mientras tú pagas por la silla. Okay. Hey, let's grade these real quick. Rather, grade your own. The first grouping, starting with I don't see, down to they see the two chairs in the sky. Okay, here's the first grouping. See how you did. The letter D, E, I, G, K. D. <coughs> that was rude. Anyway, sorry. D, E, I, G, K. They're very good. Okay, the next group. This starts with my team. The answers are A, H, N, K, M, L. A, H, N, K, M, L. All right. And following that, then the last grouping we've got B, O, C, P, J, and F. Once again, the third group, B, O. C, P, J, F. Very good. Okay. Hey, this is just practice. This is to acclimate your ear to the sound of these words that you're going to see, that you are seeing in the vocabulary on Lesson 7. Okay? So don't get discouraged about this. If you got half of them, that's okay. You will acclimate yourself to seeing certain words. Now, here's the key to this. You pick out a word or two that you know, and you're home free. After that, you really do, you're doing okay. It's not a problem, Okay. When you listen to a foreign language, these words are new to you. You pick out the words that you can get, and you sort of fill in the blanks with the meaning that you believe that, that is intended, okay? So that's kind of how that works. Anyway, all right, that's good. Stand by for uh, Casino Fino uh, Side B, the second lesson, okay? Stand by. This was the first part of Casino Vino, Casino Fino B. All right, let's, uh, let's get this one locked up. All right, stand by for the next one. Stand by for number two. Thanks for coming over.